Hello and welcome to Design Technology. Thank you for considering Design Technology as a GCSE option. What I'll do is I'll go through what Design Technology is and what we expect in Design Technology. Part one of Design Technology is the non-exam assessment. This is your coursework. Your coursework will constitute for 50% of your total mark for the GCSE. You'll spend approximately 45, uh, 35 hours of work on this and what you would need to do is select a contextual challenge you need to find a design problem design make and evaluate your design solution for one of those contextual challenges I'll show you what a contextual challenge is uh, further on in the slides so part two of the GCSE is is 50 percent of your total mark will go towards a written exam the written exam will be two hours long all con all candidates will need to answer all the three sections 10% of the exam will be in science and 15% of the exam will be maths based and the rest of that would be for design technology as you can see from this information sheet the assessment is broken up into two parts the assessment and the non-exam assessment and Within the assessment, you'll need to know your core technical principles, specialist technical principles, designing and making principles. It's a two hour exam, 100, 100 marks, 50% of your coursework. So uh, section A will be a multiple choice question on core technical skills. Section B is specialist technical principles. So you can have your science in there, your maths in there. And section C is the designing and making principles of that exam paper and the coursework will be 35 to 40 hours long and 100 percent 100 marks for this within the subject also we'll look at designing skills making skills written paper uh, you look at design and making practice the theory and origins of properties of materials so a lot to do and a lot to learn this is some of the work that our gcse pupils have produced we've got some cad cam We've done some metal work, we've done some woodwork. You look at different metals, polymers, wood and timber board, textiles, printing process, and a lot more. Now looking at the non-exam assessment, the coursework, here's a sample of some of the contextual challenges. The exam board, AQA, will give us sample contextual challenges, will give us contextual challenges. And here are three, a high profile sporting event, addressing the needs of elderly, children children's learning and play so you will have to then find a client look for a design problem then try to find a design problem uh, a design solution design that make that and evaluate that and that will constitute for 50 percent of your coursework now here's some of the work that was produced by our gcse pupils last year so they looked at one of their contextual challenges one of their contextual challenges was improving things around the house uh, re, um, reusable or recyclable material so they've done this found a design problem one person thought about uh, gaming and that gives you bad back so he decided to design a uh, car simulator to make sure that children or people don't get Bad back. This young lady reused a guitar to make it as a display cabinet. This young man made a compost pot, and this young man was using this to make drumming for young people. Here's an, an example of what the coursework involves. So lots and lots of research. This is like need to specify what your product needs to have why it needs to have that lots of designing you can do that with computer aided design or you can sketch that totally up to you you need to model make so design a model of your product so he's made a model of what he wanted to make and then he's testing it just testing what dimensions the aesthetics ergonomics of this product getting his resources and his materials, manufacturing it, how would it be manufactured, how would it join together, and 
and then finally actually making that model. So here is his final design solution for that problem. And here's someone testing that for him as well. So I hope that explains what is required and what is needed in design technology. And I'll hope you choose design technology as one of your options. Thank you.